there. So I wanted to talk to you about something that has come up for me since we have returned home, and that is discontentment. And as much as I hate to admit it, ever since we've returned from Europe, I've had a really hard time with contentment here back home. Um, it was nice to come home, to be back in our place, to have our space, to have the bed that you know I love so much. But I did get an overwhelming sense, sense of discontentment and it's been pretty hard for me to shake. I've tried my best to be joyful, but there have been times that, you know, I have failed at finding the contentment. And as I have gone through the last few weeks, I've, I've heard from many people that they too are dealing with this and it's just really hard to find joy in life right now. So it made me think about a chapter that I wrote in my new book about prioritizing joy and how it is like absolutely essential to choose joy when you are feeling something like discontent. And so I wanted to hop on today and share the exercise that I shared in the book, Find Your Glow, Feed Your Soul. If you haven't seen it yet, this is its beautiful cover. And I just wanted to read the exercise to you so that if you are feeling discontent today and you need some help choosing joy, that you could take this exercise that's in the book and maybe apply it today and any day that you aren't feeling joy. So I'm going to read you this portion. Every single chapter that I wrote has an exercise in there to help you with what the chapter is about. So this is from the chapter Prioritize Joy and this exercise is called Cultivate Inner Joy. So what can you do when you feel negativity creeping in? Try this practice to help you retrain your brain to find joy. Notice what is causing you to feel negative and step away. So if maybe you got a bad email or maybe you got in a fight with your spouse or maybe you received you know, bad news or you walked out of your car and your groceries fell over the ground, like whatever it is that has changed your state from being joyful, notice it because it happened and then step away. So maybe if it's your groceries, you need to pick them up before you leave. But if it's an email, you can step away from your computer. You do not need to respond right away. So notice what's making you feel negative and step away. And then identify one of the most joyful moments in your life, one where you felt like your heart would burst with happiness. So for me, one of the moments that I continually go to when I'm feeling discontent is right before I walk down the aisle to get married. I had waited a very long time to get married and it was one of the things that I wanted so badly in life and I couldn't believe it was about to happen. I was arm in arm with my dad and he said to me, I got, I got you. And it was raining outside. The steps were slippery and I just remember my dad, you know, holding my arm a little bit tighter and leading me down the stairs. And as I left the door, I looked to my left and there was my best friend and she was singing she was singing a song for us and it was just absolutely beautiful and surreal and as I turned the corner I saw Nate and his beautiful face smiling ear to ear standing next to my brother and it's just one of the most joyful moments in my life and I'm just overjoyed and overfilled with his happiness when I think about that moment. It was raining. My best friend was singing. My beautiful husband was at the end of the aisle next to my brother. My dad's, you know, protecting me one last time before he gives me away. And it's just very, very special. So think about a time like that for you where you just are overwhelmed with emotion and you're just feeling so happy. And, you know, maybe it's a birth of your child or getting the promotion or, you know, traveling to the first place that you wanted to go to. Just Take a moment and think of a time like that. Now really feel it. Feel it in your heart, in your mind, your skin, your gut, your fingers, your toes. Just really feel that joy all over. Sit with that feeling. And breathe in the positive vibes that that memory provides. You know, if you're sitting with that feeling, you can feel the chemistry in your body changing. You can feel the release of tension from whatever it was that upset you because you just chose joy. So notice the energy shift that occurs as you take a moment to choose joy. So when we take that moment to choose joy, when we have a negative feeling, it's impossible to feel crappy when you find that moment that fills your heart up with so much joy and 
you know, you can feel it all over your body, like just telling you that story again. And I come to this memory all the time. I could feel it in my fingers. I could feel it in my toes. I could feel my heart like filling with love. And when I take those moments to feel all over my body, the joy, I am changing the way that I'm feeling. I'm changing my chemistry from negative to positive. So I think that it's really easy for us to stay with the negative feeling. We do get addicted to cortisol. So when we choose joy, we are changing the way that our body is reacting in that moment. And so I hope this exercise helps you. And if you are having a moment of discontent, that finding that moment in your life that gives you just intense emotion of positivity, that you could always go back to that and choose joy. So again, it's from my book, Find Your Glow, Feed Your Soul. It comes out on September 10th. If you haven't already, you can pre-order today. Only four more weeks until this book is hitting shelves. I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to share more with you in a few weeks.